What's up everyone and welcome back to the comms channel. I found a great find at the last ham fest I went to where I picked up a Kenwood THD72 in good condition. Even though this radio is older than the D74 I have, this radio has two key features that set it apart from the D74. It's full duplex, which I intend to use for satellite work, and it also has a built-in digipeter. I went on YouTube looking for info on how to set up the digipeter, but there were no videos on this, surprisingly. So today's video is going to be on how to go about setting up the digipeter on the Kenwood THD72. So hang around and we'll get into it. We're approaching a restricted area. Restricted area is one mile west. Generally, when I buy a used radio, I do a full reset on it. So for this tutorial, I'm starting off with a freshly reset radio. So the first thing we'll need to do is set up the radio for APRS usage by setting the call sign and SSID. So to start off, we'll hit menu, then three, zero, zero. And this will take us to the call sign menu. It'll have no call pre-filled in there. Delete that by hitting the AB button, which is also the clear button. Now you can use the keypad to enter in your call sign. Once you have that in there, you can hit enter. That'll input a dash, and then go and enter in a number from one to 15 for your SSID, depending on your needs. Once you've got that in there, hit okay to save it, and your APR settings are configured. We're ready to move on to the digipeter settings. Hit escape, and that'll take us out of that menu and we can scroll over until we reach the digipeter menu which is right here so once you're there hit ok hit ok again and we will switch this to on and hit ok to save it and then hit escape to get out of there and we're ready to move on to the next menu which is UI digipeat so hit OK there, then hit OK again, and we will turn this on. Then hit OK to save it. Then we can move down to aliases. Then hit OK there. And this is where we're going to set the desired digipath in the new wide N-N -N format. And if you don't know what that is, we will cover that in an in-depth video coming soon. But for the example here, we will use the standard fill-in digipeter path and enter in wide 1-1. One -one. Now we can hit OK twice to save, then hit Escape. Now we can move to the UI Trace menu now and hit OK there and move down to Alias and hit OK and here it'll have temp we just need to remove that and since we're using wide 1-1 in the previous menu we're just going to put wide here then hit ok to save and ok again then we can hit escape to get out of this menu keep hitting escape till we get back to the main screen there and we are done it is set up and configured as a digipeter all that's left from here is turning on the TNC and tuning to the frequency you want to have the digipeter on. Now if you do plan on having the digipeter on 144.39, make sure there's an actual need for a digipeter on that frequency, otherwise you're just going to introduce congestion into the APRS network. So look into that before putting it on that frequency, or you can do what my friends and I are doing. We have a digipeter on a different frequency that we use for ourselves. So that's also an option for you. That'll do it for this video going over setting up the digipeter on the Kenwood THD72. Hopefully you found this video informative and useful. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you all and have a good one.